Hello, I'll give you a quick tutorial on how to install a poly lock extended lock. This tank here has a baffle that is not installed correctly on the outgoing line, so we're going to use this tapered fitting to go into the existing one so that we have a new fresh glue joint to put on a new baffle with. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our glue and primer. We're going to prime this up. These poly locks are uh, multi-functioning. In other words, the inside diameter of the poly lock is schedule 35 the smaller drain pipe size and the outside fitting is the size of schedule 40. So schedule 35 pipe will fit on the inside like that and the schedule 40 fitting would fit on the outside. For this job here we're going to use the schedule 35 because it's lighter weight material and won't be as heavy hanging off once it's all installed. Now I've got that extension piece put in there. We're going to go ahead and glue this downturn on right here. I use purple primer and then just a clear glue. The design of the purple primer is to a visual check to make sure that it was primed. So now we've got that glued on. We're going to go ahead and glue in the downturn so it sticks down into the tank a little bit. I'll purple prime this and this. That. Now when you use an elbow as opposed to a T for an outgoing baffle, it would be best to drill a small hole here so the thing doesn't get air locked. We're going to drill that right in the top. So as the water level rises, it doesn't trap air in there and prevent air from getting out. So this is going to sit in the tank just like this. So the water, as the water level rises, the water has to go down and up and out and that hole up there on top will allow it to push air out. Now all we have to do is slide that tapered fitting into the fitting down the tank. I've already pumped this tank down so we're not dealing with any water. It's all the way empty. So there's no water we have to contend with now and then once we're done as they start to use the tank they'll fill it up with water again. Uh, I would strongly recommend if you ever do this on your own tank to pump it down like that. It tapers in. I'm going to get a hammer, give it a slight tap to make sure it's locked in well in that taper. I'm going to tap on the flat side here to make sure it's seated pretty well. And it is. So now they have a baffle installed that will prevent solids that are floating on top in the tank from floating right down the line into their lateral field. The anything is floating can't escape due to the fact that it's got the downturn on it. Anything that settles out can't escape because it's sitting on the bottom of the tank. Therefore, anything that goes out 
has to be suspended in water to float out through that baffle. Appreciate you watching. Have a good day.